Good afternoon, everyone. Hope everyone is good, um, doing very good. Uh, today, I'm going to be discussing about uh, randomized algorithms. So far, we discussed about uh, deterministic algorithms, got some fairly good idea about what algorithms are, how do we analyze uh, runtime complexity, and so on. Um, th this is a very vast topic about randomized algorithms. Uh, we're going to be discussing in detail uh, about different kinds of randomized algorithms in our future lectures. But today's lecture mainly is concerned with an overview and some introduction to randomized algorithms. Um, those who are not familiar with algorithms, I would recommend you to watch my previous lectures where I discuss uh, or sets up the basic theme about algorithms class. For randomized algorithms, what we mean by randomized algorithms? A randomized algorithm is an algorithm which uh, uses randomness in some or the other form, um, whether it's input or produces output, they are dependent in some way on random number generator or algorithm make use of random number generator or pseudo random number generator uh, in the analysis of uh, algorithms when we to analyze time complexity we use the probability those who are not familiar with uh, the probability concept i would recommend to to watch uh, lectures on probability and statistics but here um, in today's lecture, we just want to talk about the basic things. Uh, so when we an analyze the runtime of randomized algorithm, we take the expectation of runtime or distribution of values returned by random number generator. What does it mean by? Say you run the random algorithm or you run the run the program multiple times and get the runtime and get the distribution of runtime. Then the uh, the time complexity would be or what will the time will take uh, to produce the output. Uh, it is the expected value of the runtime. It's not the exact runtime value, but the expected value because now your runtime is a random variable as you are using the uh, randomness in your algorithm to get the output. Okay. Uh, NP hard or NP complete kind of problems typically use uh, such methods uh, or typically use randomness uh, when they produce the output. Um, NP hard and NP complete it is a vast subject. Uh, but to give, an, give you an overview idea that there are certain kinds of problems that we cannot solve in real time. However, we, what we do, we guess a solution and when we, we try to optimize our solution in some way. We make use of heuristics or we make use of different methods uh, proposed by different researchers in that area. Now, for an example, uh, let's say you want to um, find a number in an array. Okay, So in a brute force strategy, you can just simply compare each number in the array with the desired number you want to find. But however, you can do a better job. Or let's say if you have a 1 million or 1 billion big array, it will be very inefficient to compare each number with the desired number you want to find. So there are different methods. Uh, you can use divide and conquer approach which we discussed in past. Or what you can do, you can randomly select one element out of n elements in an array and you compare whether you correctly found x or not. If you find the x then you're done key thing here is the randomness how you do that 
you use a random number generator which will randomly select one element out of n elements in an array. So this is a simple idea about uh, random algorithms. Hope, hope you understood it. Uh, key idea is uh, randomness. Okay, let's go further. Randomized algorithms, you can think of a machine which computes certain value and which takes say something as an input say x problem input and also a sequence of random numbers are so this machine is computing your output and giving you the output okay now how do we analyze the runtime of such machine so runtime of such machine is that you run the machine one time two time three time you get the distribution well essentially it is a uh, it is a random process and the, so time would be the expectation time you would say that my machine gonna take this much time is it actually the probability or you take the expected value of the time so take the expectation you can denote it this way where expectation is given mathematical by this formula mathematically by this formula okay we don't want to go in detail of this formula but just to give you an overview here because we're going to be learning about expectation and probability in our mathematics lecture series. The key, key term here is that uh, like say for example for deterministic algorithm you say my time complexity is n log a n for certain problem. Good. Now, for randomized algorithm, you say, okay, my expected time is O of n log n. So, that's the key thing here, key feature here, which distinguishes from your deterministic time complexity. Two kinds of uh, randomized uh, algorithms, two kinds of pro um, two types of uh, randomized algorithm we can uh, classify as Las Vegas and Monte Carlo. What are Las Vegas and Monte Carlo? Both uses random numbers, both uses randomness in them. However, they differ in certain aspects. For example, the Las Vegas algorithm, it fails with some probability, but we can tell when it fails. So that's an important thing that you run it multiple times until it succeeds good but you don't know uh, how much time is going to take but it will always succeed example quick sort monte carlo algorithm also fails with some probability but you cannot tell when it fails however you can reduce the failure probability to a very significant low number if your algorithm produces yes and no kind of answer, you just take the majority of those answers. For example, polynomial equality test testing. Both kind of uh, types of uh, algorithms, they have their own use, uh, they have their own application areas. For example, Monte Carlo algorithm is being used in calculating the device current in an electronic circuit. A spy simulator it's a EDA CAT tool which uses internally the Monte Carlo approach to calculate the current density in the uh, calculate the current sorry you can calculate the density afterwards you know, current per unit area how much current is gonna flow through the device um, there are other applications as well so we got fairly good idea here what what are the differences between Las Vegas and Monte Carlo Monte Carlo essentially came from from a Monte Carlo casinos in Europe. Um, it's I think it's uh, in World War II or before. A group of scientists they were working on a secret project and they gave a name Monte Carlo, and that's how the Monte Carlo name came in picture. All right, so. 
Thank you everyone. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, quick short video lecture on random algorithms. If you need private lessons, you may contact at char at libprofessor.org. In those who haven't subscribed to Lee Professor YouTube channel, I would uh, recommend you to subscribe Lee Professor YouTube channel. This helps you. Uh, to, this helps to keep you up to date with latest videos as soon as they are available. And thank you once again for subscribing and uh, watching my lecture. Hope you have enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day.